Otter Park Zoo employees are going through some special training this week after a worker turned away a boy and his family. The boy had autism and they did that because they tried to bring in a service dog. Now service dogs have been in the zoo before with no problems, but in proper employee training may be the reasoning for this mistake. Shannon Kantner has more. It was basically a misunderstanding with the employee. A misunderstanding that cost an autistic boy and his service dog a fun day at the zoo and caused the staff there to review their policies. It's better education that you always need that for any staff. And all staffs for that matter, the zoo isn't alone when it comes to questioning people with service dogs. Are you ready? Ginger yeah. Helmus is a volunteer at Great Lakes Assistant Dogs in Grand Ledge. Not only does she train the animals, she lives with one at home. My daughter has autism, so it's our life. She said it's not uncommon for businesses to be confused. Oh, just your basic outings, you know, grocery stores, they will um, stop you at the door, ask you um, a few questions. But by law, they're allowed everywhere, and employees can ask only two questions. Is the dog a service animal required because of a disability? And what tasks has the dog been trained to do? They cannot ask about the person's disability or ask the dog to perform. Still, it happens. It's frustrating. Um, it's very, uh, it's also disheartening at times that you've worked so hard for that service dog to be with your family. So that's kind of sad too. The dogs become part of the family, even though they're not considered a pet. Most importantly, they keep track of children with autism who have a tendency to wander off. You look away for two seconds and she could be gone, you know. So that security, you know, that safety net that we have now. And no matter the obstacles, she said the dog has made all the difference for her daughter. She was capable of opening up more. So now we feel like we're part of the community and we can do much more in the community. In Grand Ledge, she and Kantner, Fox 47 News. And that family always carries a copy of the law with them just in case there are any problems. Parter Park Zoo employees will go through a course about the situation. And as for the family, they've been invited back to the zoo and they'll help with an autism camp this summer.